Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. So this was Christmas Eve, the night before Christmas. Actually, it was kind of Christmas morning because at this point, everyone had gone to bed. And so I had the house to myself. The kids are home, Kenton's asleep. So I'm doing some last minute, last minute <laughs> um, wrapping, gift wrapping. I mean, we didn't buy a lot this year. I didn't but I did have a few things that I wanted to wrap. I also love to like put out little treats for the next day, so things they don't expect. Basically, you know, sweets, little snacks, just little goodies just to make the place feel very festive. I also love this little mug with the reindeer theme. It's metal and glass. And then I just add these coffee crunch chocolate covered pretzels which Kareem loves to sneak <laughs> so I'm putting them out again this year I did that last year as well I also found these crackers and to be honest it's one of those things where I just love the packaging it looked very multicultural very international and um, the kids love you know Asian flavored snacks so why not I hide it behind this little tree because I want them to think they found it <laughs> I know they're like too grown for this but I still do things I would have done when they were very young I also got these interesting looking kind of old-fashioned candies and as you can see the place is dark I'm putting it on the coffee table now I just have to put everything under the tree and uh, clear up the dining table for tomorrow So for Christmas brunch, I decided to channel the English a little bit and keep it simple. So I had some scrambled eggs. I toasted some croissants. Actually, I kind of over toasted them in the oven, but they were still really good. And also some smoked salmon and a little bit of fruit. I also had some goat cheese and of course some tea and some juice. I had a gluten-free muffin for myself and I was able to eat everything else. But it was nice and very tasty and a good way to hold us until dinner. After brunch, I had one of the kids take a picture of us in these new t-shirts with the cover of my new book. So as you can see, I cleared up the dining table the night before, partially set it up. So I do have, you know, a table runner in the middle. I have the plate set out on top of chargers, very simple, and knives and forks and some English crackers and of course some fresh flowers. I think Kenton did a good job picking out these flowers without me. I had told him that my theme was white and silver. I also have these birds. I think they're called pheasants. I got them at Williams Sonoma. They're actually salt and pepper shakers and I take them out every holiday season. Let's cook. So first thing I'm gonna do before we all get dressed up later is start cooking the goat. So this is fresh goat from the butcher. Kenton and the boys picked up and uh, they've cut them in big chunks. So I'm going to need to cut them a little bit into smaller pieces, but I really like that it was fresh goat versus frozen. Ken also picked up some fresh red peppers because I'm gonna need a lot of peppers to make some jollof rice. Nigerian jollof rice. Well, I'm gonna try my best. I don't know how authentic it's going to be, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> So Mariam is going to uh, blend the peppers and onions for me, and that is for the jollof rice. Now for the curry goat, for the Jamaicans out there, you know we must season our food, right? We need to add some bay leaf, some curry powder, some thyme, some pepper, some pimento, all of it. You must season your food. <laughs> I feel like my grandmother, she would say, you must season your food. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm doing before. Usually you would then let it sit overnight if you can, before you then brown it or sear it and then turn it into a stew. So mix your meat really well with the spice and then we're going to let it sit and then cook it. Ooh, you smell that? It just instantly smells Caribbean. 
instantly smells pretty. As you may know, the thing about jollof rice, whether it's Ghanaian or Nigerian, is the rice needs to be like orange red, which comes from the peppers and the tomatoes. So once you blend, in my case, onions and peppers, you then add it to tomatoes and then you kind of fry it up. So it has to be very well cooked basically before the rice gets added. And you also must season it really well. Some people like to boil their tomatoes before they actually do this step, but I just put them all together and let them kind of fry up really well. So look at all this water and we didn't even add water to it. So Khalid put on some throwback music he knew I would like. This is music from Think Like a Man. Remember that old movie with Kevin Hart and Gabrielle Union? I'm adding some vegetables and I'm going to let the goat stew for several hours. It's going to be nice and soft. My pressure cooker, which is very old, hasn't failed me yet. Kareem is helping me thinly slice some red cabbage or purple cabbage. Then I have some chicken boiling for stock. I'm going to use that for jollof rice. So here are some really pretty vegetables and fruit for the coleslaw we're going to use. Just look how pretty those carrots are. They're like yellow, orange, red, and then the apples. So it's going to make a really pretty coleslaw instead of, you know, the basic vegetables that we see. And I love the vibrant colors and it's super healthy for you, right? Super healthy. I also love having the children home, especially the boys, because Mariam has already disappeared to her room <laughs> to help me. Anyway, you can see all burners are taken. I need a bigger stove, right? And then of course, we're gonna make some fried plantain because we are Caribbean and African and we just have to have plantain. All right, so here's my tomatoes and my onions that have been cooked down and peppers and spice. I'm adding the rice to it. And the thing with jollof rice, good jollof rice, is you don't add water. No water is added. You add your chicken stock. The chicken stock is really just boiled from the chicken and spice. So that's what I'm going to be adding to this. I also like a little bit of texture, so that's why I added the chopped onions and peppers. Some people also add like mixed vegetables, but as you can see, I'm adding the chicken stock, which again is literally just the chicken, water, and spice in that pot. You know there are different types of rice. My mistake though, I will admit, is that this is not long grain rice. Typically jollof rice is made with long grain rice. Anyway, this is macaroni. This is some fancy macaroni I picked up, but I'm gonna mix it with another macaroni. Khalid is going to help me strain it. <laughs> now that he lives alone, he's better in the kitchen. Anyway, here is the dressing for the coleslaw. We're adding spice, mayo, a bunch of other ingredients, and Mmm, this is so good. I have this on the channel earlier. All right, macaroni again. Let's strain it. And then we're going to be making a roux, which I love making. But you know, what's funny is that I made this macaroni. I know it's so good, but I couldn't eat it because it wasn't gluten-free. But I made it for Khalid because he loves macaroni and cheese. So you see how the coleslaw is looking. It's looking good. It's looking good. And again, I have the recipe previously. <laughs> Time for a little dance, dance, dance before we shred the cheese to make this a roux. Okay, so we have our flour, we have our milk or half and half and a bunch of cheeses and some butter. So put the butter in the pan, melt it and then add the flour, make a roux. It's going to be cooked for a few minutes and then add the milk or the cream once it is cooked for a few minutes. So pouring in the cream and this is going to make a nice thick creamy sauce, which is so much better than the packet or fake stuff that you buy if you make it yourself. I'm adding paprika, a little bit of salt and pepper, and mm, so good. And then I'm adding my cheeses. You can add different types of cheese that you like, whatever you prefer, but I also always add some cheddar cheese. 
And as if that's not indulgent enough, I'm adding some cream cheese, about half a pack of cream cheese. But again, remember ladies, I'm doing this for the boys. I'm not eating any of this this time. <laughs> Look how pretty that sauce is, it's so pretty. And then I'm adding the macaroni and then going to just mix it really well really well mix it really well so all the sauce gets into all the nooks and crannies and then we're going to bake this so my oven safe container already has butter on it and then again I add the macaroni to it you could actually eat the macaroni like it is right now but it is so much better when it's baked next I'm adding that leftover cheese on the top for a nice layer give it a little crisp. If I had panko, which I ran out of panko, I would have added that too for a little bit more crunch. It's so good once baked. Okay, Mariam's hair, let's do that. <laughs> let's help Mariam get dressed. I actually like doing her hair and makeup. She doesn't mind most of the time. She really doesn't mind, but she won't really do it herself. I mean, she tries, but <laughs> we're gonna take pictures, so I feel like I should help her do it. Because of her complexion, I use very little. A little goes a long way, so not too much. Okay, let's tackle this. Ah, oh, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. Look at that, Miriam. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of tricky with one hand. So last night she washed her hair and I put it in these flexi rods with a little bit of curl pudding. So nothing else is in her hair. As you know, she's pretty uh, kind of low maintenance, doesn't do much with her hair. It usually looks dry and bushy. So it's just amazing how a little bit of product makes it look so shiny and soft. I mean, her hair is soft, even though a lot of times it looks dry, but it definitely, in my opinion, looks so much nicer right now. Feel like you're at the salon, right? No, 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 okay, it's fine. Look at the mirror. <laughs> Miriam, come on. My ear red. Is your ear red? No, it's not. Ooh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, you seem awfully proud. So I, I am, look at that. Look at that. Look at that fat ass face. <laughs> you don't have a fat ass face. You don't have a fat ass face. Look at that. Look at that. I'm hungry now. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see? No, I can't. That's why I got the glasses on. Mm, I look like a 40-year-old. Miriam, uh, you do not. Um, a 40-year-old what? Despite what she's saying, I can tell by her face she feels cute. Bye, girl. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate. After all that cooking and doing Miriam's hair and being up late Christmas Eve, oh, I'm already tired. <laughs> So, we got to do something with this situation. We need to do something and get all Christmassy. What kind of Christmas and you don't get dressed? I, all right, so, let's put on a little makeup, get the hair done, and we'll be back in a second. Is that better? Do you like? <laughs> it's the red. We're doing red today with a red lippy. This is Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo by MAC. I haven't worn this all year. It's quite bright, right? Yes! So now we're feeling festive. I don't feel as tired as I was feeling earlier. Something about makeup, you put it on and you're like, voila! I'm here. <laughs> anyway, we need to go eat. I'm sure everybody is ready. Um, actually, Kenton is making some Vietnamese dish, bung zao, I believe it's called. It's like a pancake. 
So our dinner theme this year is keeping it multicultural. So I've made jollof rice to represent Nigeria. Jollof rice and I need to finish make some fried chicken. Um, the chicken's already parboiled like they normally do and then I'm gonna fry it. And then I also have representing Jamaica, the curry goat. And then um, Kenton's making the bun zao, which is to represent Vietnam. And then we've got macaroni and cheese for America. <laughs> so we got a little bit of everything on our table. Um, but first we're gonna take some pictures as a family before we sit down to eat for dinner. So, come along. By the way, this dress, it's a maxi. I gotta show you. And it has this long tie, which you see, is meant to tie like this, but I felt like it was a little too conservative for me. I'm not that girl. Um, yes, I'm 50 years old, but I don't feel like looking 60. <laughs> it's not my thing. So it's supposed to be like this. Um, I feel like it makes me look like, I don't know, a school teacher or principal. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not me. So we're just going to leave it like this or I could tie the bow lower, but then I feel like it needs to iron and I don't feel like ironing it. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's a little bit more like me. And this necklace I've had for many, many years. Actually, I think I had this before Khalid was born, so that's how good quality it is. Um, yeah, this is older than Khalid, older than 21, 22 years old. And it still looks, Amazing. This is to go on the jollof rice. Cheese. Okay, it's 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 all we all on. I'm on there. I'm on here. Phones on. Good. That looks good. Kenton said he wasn't happy with the way his dish turned out, but all that matters is that it tastes good and that we all contributed to this dinner and we are so happy to be able to sit down together and enjoy each other's company and thank God for all our blessings. So first thing we're going to do is say grace. And that just really means that we thank God for everything he has given us. We thank God that none of us is sick. We thank God that we have a roof over our head. We thank God that we all have the potential to make money, to work. And there's so many blessings that we don't want to take for granted. And I would like to say that I also appreciate you guys for watching us and for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Bye, they enjoyed it. Okay, this is a uh, Kareem so
I hope you had a wonderful Christmas as well and that hopefully if you are working a typical 9 to 5 job that you have or will have a few days off if not now in the future. Um, yeah, so anyway, the food was really good, really good. The curry goat, everybody liked it. My jollof rice, I liked the flavor, but honestly, I need to do better. I need to do better. But come on, Nigerians, can I get a thumbs up for at least trying? I tried it too. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to use long grain rice, that's for sure. And I also want to extend my prayers to anyone who has gotten sick during this pandemic. This has been a rough time for a lot of people. Those who have lost jobs, those who have gotten sick, just know our prayers are with you. <laughs> Green got it. After dinner, we had some English crackers, which is something I grew up with, my mom used to do with us. So crackers usually have like silly little gifts, really silly stuff, funny stuff, funny jokes, and usually a paper crown. So I figure I gotta look cool with my crown. You gotta cock it to the side, right? <laughs> I don't think Kenton likes his crown, but hey. <laughs> anyway, we had fun. So then the next question usually is, what's for dessert? How about some black cake? Some traditional Caribbean black cake, right? So this is pretty much what we all love every Christmas. And this is Kareem's slice of black cake. I actually didn't have any because I need to make some gluten-free black cake for myself. But theirs is the traditional cake and they all love it. They love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so I also got this English fruit cake. So this is the traditional, almost American or even British fruit cake. It wasn't cutting very well. You're supposed to refrigerate it before cutting it, but that doesn't change the flavor or the texture too much. He doesn't like it. He definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> if you breathe in while you're chewing, it tastes like you're eating bird food. Really? That's what we felt like the Is parrot. it that bad boo or are they just exaggerating? It's a little, it's a little like, like melody. It has like bird food smell. Yeah. He's right. Yeah. The fruit though is, is moist. That's really? Yeah. Like yeah. raisins. But, but yeah, he's yeah, Tell the right. truth, man. Wow. Oh. Is it really that bad or it's not really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a little aromatic, too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm a textured right. person. Because when you breathe in, yeah. you did that on <laughs> Cheers. Don't forget to thumbs up. I recorded this yesterday and put it up for you today. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much again. And love to all of you from wherever you're watching. We miss our family. We're sorry we're not able to be there with everyone. And God bless you all. Thank you again for watching. Bye.